Hey Jackie versus as promised today we're going to see how civil engineering salaries in Germany are structured a civil engineer in Germany isn't just juggling with blueprints and dead boots they are also navigating a salary system so today we are going to unpack the IG bo salary structure think of a rule book and decide how thick your paycheck is what is IGBO? The IGBO is a labor union covering construction, engineering and other related trades in Germany. The IGBO agreement defines minimum wages, classifications and benefits for many civil engineering roles. Even if your company does not follow IGBO directly, the contract still shows a fair idea of what engineering should be paid. Here you see the IGBO salary document. It looks scary but don't worry, I will show the parts you actually need. These rows are called loan grouper. Think of them like levels. Each level tells you what type of work a person do. Level 1 to 3 are simple tasks. Level 4 to 5 are skilled workers. Level 6 to 9 are foremen or site leaders. Civil engineers usually get paid monthly and do not get paid by hourly wages. By understanding these levels help you see the structure of the pay. The IGBO contract organizes the salary group. Each group corresponded to experience, qualification and responsibility. The typical salary ranges, the entry level civil engineer in Germany will get around 48,000 euros to 58,000 euros per year. And if you have two to five years of experience in Germany, then you'll get 55,000 euros to 70,000 euros per year. And if you are a project engineer, you'll get 65,000 euros to 80,000 euros per year. And if you are a site manager or a construction manager, you'll get 60,000 euros to 85,000 euros per year. And if you are a senior engineer, you'll get 75,000 euros to 100,000 euros per year. Large companies sometimes exceeds IG Bow contract. East and Western Germany still show some differences in some tariff areas. Allowances and extras. This is where the IGBO contract becomes a bit of treasure chest. First one, Christmas bonus. Why not killed? You get extra money once a year. The second one, vacation bonus. Urlop skills. Extra payment for taking vacation. Third one, construction industry travel allowance. If you visit many sites, you get compensated for travel time, mileage or per deem. The fourth one, work time accounts. You can save overtime hours and use them later. Edit options. The contract changes. There are also things that can be changed or negotiated. First, company rules. Your company may give extra bonuses, more holidays or flexible hours. Second, personal negotiation. As a civil engineer, you can often negotiate your starting salary, your responsibilities and your working hours. The third, regional differences. Some areas pay more because company needs more engineers. You can present three options that can be negotiated either by the employer or the employee. First one, company level adjustments. Company may introduce bonus schemes, profit sharing, extra days of commuter benefit. On top of IGBO salary, you will get all these things. Number two, Personal negotiations room. Civil engineers can often negotiate starting salary, number of weekly hours to work, mobile office days, which means work from home options, additional responsibility allowances. And number three, regional variation. Cities like Munich, Stuttgart and Frankfurt often pay more, which means above the IG tariff level due to the cost of living and talent competition. Let's see a case study. A simple story which helps. Let's see Siri, a junior civil engineer in Frankfurt or in Berlin. She joined a mid-sized structural firm that follows the IGBO contract. Her starting salary lands in between 48,000 to 58,000. Maybe let's say 53 or 52,000 per year. And she gets Christmas bonus, travel allowances for site visit. After one or two years, she can negotiate a raise. 58,000 euros because she takes over the project and she coordinates with the project. This is the normal path for many civil engineers in Germany. How to read the IGBO tables? When you look at the table, focus on these things. First, your salary group. Second, your experience level. Third, your region. Fourth, the date when the table starts. Fifth, the bonus or allowance section. These five points give you the correct number of your salary. The IGBO contract is more than a document. It protects the framework of workers and guides employers and guides you to understand your value as a civil engineer in Germany. If you know the structure and you can gain the leverage in your career journey. If you want to a breakdown of other engineering fields or a comparison between IGBO and private company salaries, let me know in the comments. Or if you want to know how to negotiate with the first salary let me know in the comments thanks for watching if you like the video do like share with your friends and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you and have a good night